What? Oh my goodness. Be still my beating heart. What is this? Two PJF videos in one week? Are you kidding me? What's going on? Hey, today I want to talk to you about the NFL, Alex Jones, Facebook, Microsoft et al, and you. But first, cue the intro. I got something here that's going to trigger a whole bunch of people in Cali. You know, the land that used to be called the land of the granola eaters. And now I don't even know what they call it. Here we go. Here it is. Mm. Look at this. This is a straw. I have a whole bag of them. Mm. All right. <laughs> I may even throw it on the ground just because. <laughs> Actually, I won't. All right. Whoop. NFL. The NFL. A bunch of athletic, overpaid, undereducated, self righteous, confused silly men who think what they do matters are all talking smack again about taking a knee during the national anthem of the United States of America at the beginning of their games uh, instead of standing at attention with their hand over their heart. Before I go any further, and I know you can tell from my tone where I'm at on this, before I go any further, let me say this loud and clear. They absolutely have a right not to stand at attention for the national anthem. They absolutely have a right as far as their employment contracts go to take a knee if that's what they want to do. But they're idiots, and they're two-faced. You know, they, uh, the whole thing started, this whole take a knee thing. Um, take a knee, drink some water. That's a good idea. Um, this whole thing started as a protest against all the blacks that were getting killed by all the white cops. Well, you know what? There are a lot of blacks. African Americans, Negroes, I don't care what phrase you use, I don't care, who are killed by cops. Many of whom happen to be white, but some are Asian. Can you say yellow? Some are black, some are Hispanic. Can you say brown? You know, I don't know. Um, the vast majority who are shot by cops deserve it. And were it me, would have gotten shot earlier <laughs> in that altercation. You know, the police have my uh, mostly respect. An admiration. Are there bad cops? Absolutely. There's bad doctors and dentists too. Um, but here's the deal. They're two-faced about it. They're, they're, they say one thing and, and ignore another. So you're worried about a handful of blacks who get killed by cops. And I submit again, most of them deserve it. Um, but let's just stick with, let's just stick with the ones who don't deserve it, shall we? Bad shoots, unrighteous shoots, right? So they complain about that. And because of that, they don't want to stand at attention for the national anthem. Where were they, what, a weekend ago when Chicago 70-some people got shot and a bunch of them killed? Most of them, I'm willing to bet a lot of money, were black who got shot. Most of them, I'm willing to bet a lot of money, were shot by not police officers, other black people. Where's the outrage? Where's the outrage? Bigger numbers in one weekend than there have been in a year in America. Uh, on the other hand, with the cops and the black, mostly criminal thugs. They're two-faced. 
They just want attention. They're like little girls. They're not getting enough attention with their millions of dollars and their, you know, they work this hard and they get paid to lift really good weights and do steroids and stuff. Come on. Come on. So, yeah, they have a right to do it, though. Constitution, you know, <laughs> what the flag kind of half represents, right? You know, this country, our Constitution, guarantees them that right. But you know what? I've got rights, too. And so do you. And I say as long as the NFL allows them to do that, because I believe the NFL has a right to say, if you want to work for me, if you want to be on this team, you will stand for the national anthem. And I believe until that happens, we should deny them our dollars. Why? Because there is a cultural war being waged, and quite frankly, we are losing. And it's time for you to put your money where your mouth is. Quit supporting the NFL. Don't watch anything on it. Don't listen to the news reports about the games. Quit talking about it at work until they come to their senses, which, oh, newsflash, they ain't gonna. Um, hmm. Don't give them any of your money. Don't do it. Put your money where your mouth is. Sure, they have a right. They absolutely have a right to take a knee. And I have a right to turn it off which I've done for a long time. I don't even have a TV. So that's one. We're talking about a cultural war. That's the overarching theme of this broadcast. Alex Jones. When I first found Alex Jones, wow, a decade ago, I listened to him for a while because he was so different and, you know, out there. Um, and then I quickly uh, grew tired uh, of him, of his shtick, right? I think he did some good work. Um, but, you know, Alex Jones is a drama queen, right? And half the stuff he says is just for dramatic effect. It's just, in my opinion, bogus crap. So I don't listen to Alex Jones. I don't follow Alex Jones. When people say Alex Jones said, I kind of start turning off and I kind of start judging them, right? So I am not a fan of Alex Jones. However, comma... What is happening to him is just one more step in what has already started happening here on channels like this where they started uh, taking, I don't want to use the word DM, uh, started taking away you know, livelihood from people they didn't agree with and forced all of us to go to Patreon, which is why most of my stuff is on Patreon now. And I have backups to my backups planned for that, which we're probably going to get to. Gab. AI. We'll talk about that here in a second, too. So anyway, here's Alex Jones, and it is a concerted effort because it's a cultural war. You know what is uh, YouTube uh, tells them you're off for hate speech or something. What the heck is hate speech? Hate speech is something I say that you hate or that you say and I hate. Well, that could be anything. I could say, instead of drinking coffee, you ought to drink water. It's the warrior beverage. Oh, I hate that. He's talking about warriors and he's drinking out of an evil assault straw. Was that hate speech? I don't know. Somebody would probably take issue with the, with the little accent I just put on there. So what? America. We have the right to say what we want. And it gets more important when people disagree with you. All right, so I think YouTube has the right to kick off whoever they want. I also think if I want to open up the Viking restaurant and I only want to hire blonde chicks, well endowed, who are white, to work there, ooh, I should be able to do it. If you want to open a restaurant and only have Native Americans, Indians working there, I think you should be able to. But you can't, it's against the law. But I think YouTube should have the right to decide what's going to be on their channel. I have the right to decide who gets to comment on my channel here because YouTube has given me that right. I can delete comments from people I don't like. And if there's jerks, I do. So I think, you know, it's YouTube's house. YouTube's rules, man. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. That's why I went to Patreon with a whole bunch of other people. Um, cost a whole dollar a month. So that's their right. But... YouTube has almost a monopoly. Facebook kicked Alex Jones off, 
and I think some other people ganged up on them. Twitter, I think, ganged up on them. So they're nominally separate entities, but it's mass communication to the people. It's only a matter of time where people like me are outright banned too. I mean, that's coming. What they are trying to do in this cultural war is silence our voice. And I'm telling you, as long as they control the levers of uh, the voice, you know, they control the platforms, uh, I think they have the right to. I don't think it's right. <laughs> you know, I don't think they should, but I do think they have the right to. It's their house. They built it. They can put in it what they want. However, comma, that doesn't change the fact for people like you and I, uh, you better read the tea leaves. You better figure out what's coming down the pike and start supporting people who are for freedom. Let's talk about Gab. Gab made a big thing about, you know, we'll take anybody. We'll let racist black white yellow green blue racist it doesn't matter come on and say whatever they want we'll let alex jones come on and and talk on our thing well that wasn't good enough so i guess microsoft owns gab and now they're saying hey uh you're gonna block all this stuff or we're gonna cut you off i've always hated microsoft i hate them now I had to get a new laptop. I couldn't get one with anything but Windows 10 on it. I live off grid and there's all these mandatory updates that take forever. And you know, another video for another time, I'll probably talk about it on Patreon. Uh, they're spying on you. Oh my God, are they spying on you. Let's talk about Facebook, which kicked off Alex Jones. You think they're spying on you? You're on Facebook? Are you kidding me? You're an idiot. You are a freaking idiot if you're on Facebook. They've taken over legally. You've given them the right to take over your little devices and your cameras and your phones, even when you're not on them and they're listening to you. Your phones are listening to you. You ever notice how the ads pop up for something you had to talk with about your wife? but you didn't look up yet on the internet? Tires, a code, a purse, or whatever, a chihuahua? Oh yeah, they're listening to you. And everything you put out, this video with me that I put out is stored somewhere. And when they decide you're an interesting person, they are gonna unstore it, unpack it, and figure you out. Who do you think helps set up Facebook? My God, give them everything about you. What's your favorite color? Do you feel more like Snoopy or the Red Baron? Or do you feel, I mean, they, just give them everything about you. Why don't you, knuckleheads? Get off of Facebook. Quit supporting them. I got off of Facebook a long time ago. It irritates me to no end when businesses' business site is on Facebook. I don't go there. Guess what? They don't get my money. Culture war. So what did I say? Yeah, Facebook, Alex Jones, NFL. Again, understand me. I do believe that, that these people have the right to run their companies like they want to. I just wish they'd let me run my companies the way I want to. Um, but just because they have the right doesn't make it right. And it's going to get worse. We are going to be squeezed and squeezed and squeezed and pushed aside. News. You can't read good news anymore. Heck, even Fox News is a bunch of garbage. It really is. And those of you who think Fox News is a good alternative to the liberal press are brainwashed. Man, turn off all the news for a month and then come back and watch Fox News and tell me what your impressions are. You need to start getting with other people. You need to come up with some alternatives. I'm going to start talking about this for the next week, probably on Patreon. I'll put a link to it down below. Um, you better come up with a plan because right now you may be like me. I don't watch the NFL. So really, I don't have a dog in that fight anyway. Um, what they do or don't do, I don't care. I think it's stupid when grown men paint their face and go, woo, woo, woo. whatever, man. Uh, I don't listen to Alex Jones. I don't watch his YouTube videos. I guess nobody does now. Um, that's not the point. That's not the point. <coughs> you don't count. You don't have a voice. What? what? I, don't, I, I don't hear you. What? I, I don't hear you. There are alternatives, but you better start thinking about what's going on. You better start figuring it out. Uh, we got problems coming. I talk about them every day on Patreon. I hope I see you over there, but I will. See you out there.